look at the brilliant new North Bank 650 hardtop. This is a wonderful boat. Let's call it the Rising Star, and this is a great contender for Australia's greatest boats this year. You know what? Boat design has come a long, long way. We've perfected the whole anchoring and bow setup nowadays to what we've got here. A good big anchor hatch out the front of the cabin, a terrific bow sprit, electric anchor winch, strong split bow rail, and we have a look at this beautiful wrap all the way down the sides of this boat. Just looks sensational. North Bank are the first on the market to actually feature this new system of outrigger mount. And have a look at this. Just a quick action, pull back, and that's adjustable through a spine and will lock into a number of different angles so you can get your spread out really easily. The cabin in the North Bank's really inviting. It's fully lined all the way through, right through the head as well, the, the top of the ceiling. You've got two sets of side pockets right around the side walls and they're lined so it's a good backrest as well or cushion. Um, and the thing I like about that, by having those two sets of side pockets, it actually adds a lot to the structural rigidity in the hull. So with the lining, the upholstery and the side pockets, it actually reduces a lot of noise. It gives you a lot of storage space. Comes up as a really nice presentation. Have a look at this new hardtop. Good vision all the way around. Really strong structure that you can grab into in a sea and not feel at all uncomfortable. Good ventilation. And I've got to say, I really do like the helm I out in this boat. It's got plenty of room for big electronics, but it's just comfortable and seaworthy and very, very strong. Everybody knows that I don't like pedestal seats and neither do the guys from North Bank Boats. Fiberglass seat boxes are so much stronger and give you so much more storage. And I actually really like these stainless steel frames that you can put a great big fish box esky under, multi-purpose and exceptionally strong. Under the floor, this boat's got plenty of capacity with a 250 litre fuel tank. If that's not enough for you, and God knows why it wouldn't want to be, you can opt up to 350. I don't think you'd do it too often because the bigger the fuel tank, the smaller the kill tank. And have a look at this. Good little kill tank under the floor, drains out as well, with, in this boat, the optional tubular flooring, which is really comfortable underfoot. I'm not a short bloke, but have a look at the depth of this freeboard. It's just terrific. You can lock yourself in, be ultimately safe at sea, even if you're fighting a big fish. Big, deep side pockets for all your gear, and the beauty of having such deep freeboard is the floor is very low, which actually increases the stability of the boat dramatically. The North Bank is, is a nice stable boat, both at rest and underway. We had three big fellas on board, and even if we all went over to one side to emulate landing a fish, there was only a little bit of movement at rest. The North Bank 650 is a good, strong hull. It'll handle plenty of horsepower. For the Speed Demons want to really go for it, it'll take a 250. I'm quite satisfied with the Suzuki V6 200. There's also the option of the lightweight in the Suzuki, which is a four-cylinder inline. I like this, and believe it or not, it's been running the whole time. Nice and quiet, but gutsy. This is for a fisherman who's sick of uh, getting wet with clears at leak and wants to get out of the weather. Um, great for southern areas where it's cold and wet and rainy. Visibility throughout the boat is good around the screens and within the sort of confines of the hard top. A nice big kill tank as well, so if you're into keeping a lot of fish, there's plenty of space there and it's under the hard top section, not in the sun as well, so your fish are not going to get baked. One of the things that impresses about the 650 hardtop is the attention to detail and the quality of the fit and finish. You've got wonderful heavy duty cleats with branding built through them. Everything lines up perfectly, sicker flex around the screens edge-free, streak-free. The attention to detail is second to none. This boat starts at a base level of about $109,000. The, the one that we've tested here comes in at about $120,000. And that seems to me like, uh, like very good value for money for a vessel of, of this size and with these capabilities. If what you're after is to get offshore and safely fish um, chasing either bottom bouncing or chasing the, the big SBTs and all of that sort of thing, you couldn't ask for a better value for money. The North Bank 650 hardtop. It's got all the facilities I need for a great offshore warrior. It's a good, tough hull. It'll take plenty of horsepower. And it's a great layout. Who'd ask for more? <laughs>